TV is an exciting game set in a war-torn universe full with scary animals and deadly foes. Players must navigate through many landscapes, each with its own set of difficulties and obstacles. The game has an engaging plot and compelling characters, each with their own reasons. Players must adjust their characters' powers to their playstyle. Whether they use sheer force or smart methods, TV's unique combination of bullet hell and Metroidvania gameplay provides a deep and fascinating experience, making it an excellent pick for those looking for action, adventure, and mystery. The game takes players on an adventure through Radlandia's lively universe, where they encounter colorful characters and explore several levels. Players may personalize their character's appearance, tricks, and style, as well as participate in leagues or challenge others to beat their greatest tricks. With precise controls and sophisticated gameplay, the game provides accessibility, depth, and player flexibility. Players can also play in leagues in which they must master more than 100 moves. The Outer Worlds is a player-driven tale RPG in which the player's character is the unplanned variable in the Halcyon Colony's business equation. The game allows players to choose their approach to the plot, which influences character development, companion storylines, and endgame events. Players can have weaknesses and flaws are an important part of building fascinating heroes. They can also lead companions with special powers, each with their own goal and principles. The game takes players through Halcyon, a corporate-owned and run colony, where they may explore villages, space stations, and other interesting areas. The award-winning strategy game XCOM 2 is included in the XCOM 2 collection, along with four DLC packs Resistance Warrior Pack, Anarchy's Children, Alien Hunters, Shen's Last Gift, and the War of the Chosen expansion. The expansion includes additional material such as hero classes, formidable adversaries, quests, settings, and more strategic gameplay depth. The Resistance Warrior Pack lets players personalize their squads, while Anarchy's Children adds over 100 additional exotic armor variations. Shen's Last Gift investigates Advent's Lost Towers facility, while Alien Hunters develops soldiers into elite alien hunting teams. Borderlands Game of the Year Edition, Borderlands 2 and Borderlands the Pre-Sequel are all included in the Borderlands Legendary Collection, which includes over 100 hours of gameplay. Solo or cooperative play is available, as well as local two-player split-screen or four-player internet play. The game offers four mercenaries, each with their own RPG talents, and lets players to explore Pandora, a lawless planet, and the rise to power of the villain Handsome Jack. The pre-sequel introduces new gameplay elements and genre-blending mechanisms. Cyber Protocol is a cyberpunk-themed arcade puzzle game in which players mimic the main hero in order to resurrect his android comrade by activating the protocol. The game has 100 levels with various obstacles and traps, and it welcomes up to four people to join in on the fun. For an added rush, players may attack the system in arcade mode with limited lives, aiming to achieve the top 20 worldwide cyber hacking rankings. Swords and Bones is a game inspired by masterpieces from the 80s and 90s. Players return to their youth to combat monsters, escape traps, and earn power-ups and awards. The game has 16-bit visuals, evocative chiptune music, and over 50 action-packed levels. The aim is to fight the wolf demon and bring order back to the kingdom of mankind. Over 50 levels, pixel art graphics and two endings are among the game's highlights. Tron Identity is a visual novel adventure that follows Query, a detective software assigned to solve a crime in a new grid. To piece together the facts, players must interview suspects and study their surroundings. Decisions will have an impact on the tale, with numerous outcomes based on the words they choose. Players engage with characters and must defrag identity disks to retrieve their lost memories. The game boasts handcrafted character graphics, detailed world building, and a protagonist whom players may control. 
In Phantom Trigger, Stan, a middle-class worker, is thrust into a neon realm where demons battle in groups, employing every trick in the book to shatter your resistance. The game has an intricate fighting system that combines aspects from the slasher, RPG, and roguelike genres. The plot follows Stan as he finds a new universe and connects the dots in a branching tale with four different endings. The game features five separate worlds to explore, an estimated seven-plus hours of playtime, and a complex battle system. Hellpoint is a dark action role-playing game set in a sci-fi future where the lines between science and the occult are blurred. The Arid Novo Station, once a brilliant pinnacle of human progress, has been destroyed by wicked interdimensional creatures and is now ruled by terrible cosmic gods. You are dispatched to examine the unexplained phenomenon known as the Merge as a creation of the cryptic author. Players can explore the dark depths of the station to find hundreds of combat and ranged weapons and armor parts. Cozy Grove is a life simulation game set on a haunted island in which you play as a spirit scout who explores the island's woodland on a regular basis in order to learn buried truths and comfort local spirits. The game is timed to real-world time with 30 to 60 minutes of fresh mission content added every day. Players may fish, craft and decorate the island while meeting hundreds of intriguing personalities and spirits, each with their own story. The game includes stunning, dynamic landscapes, gathering spirit creatures, creating decorations and fishing, as well as a 40-hour campaign with side tasks that will keep you entertained for months. Streets of Rogue offers a special combination of freedom, choice, and wild fun. This top-down roguelite game combines aspects from top-down roguelites, immersive simulators, and RPG, set in a randomly constructed metropolis. The game presents AI-guided people from various backgrounds. To complete missions, players must use their characters' specific abilities, items, and the dynamic environment. Players may construct a tiny but strong guerrilla army by adopting the role of a soldier, a sneaky doctor, or even a guerrilla. Streets of Rogue provides an unrivaled gaming experience because to its unique blend of gameplay components, The world has ended, but you have access to thousands of tons of locomotive, giving you an advantage over sick hordes. The final station is where you must choose whether to assist survivors or leave them to die and plunder their bodies. The post-apocalyptic adventure takes place aboard a dying train with five episodes ending in inhabited stops. Because infected hordes will halt your progress, you must keep your train running and create important things. Pick up survivors, scavenge for riches, and sell your goods to improve your weapons. The city is under siege by creatures from the Upside Down world, and the Potion Master is the only one who can vanquish them. Players must traverse adversaries and bosses in their realm and the Upside Down realm using Fae, a fairy, and potions. The game has a story mode that spans five worlds, as well as boss rush mode and challenge mode, with your decisions deciding the result. Over 30 distinct foes, seven fierce boss encounters, and mysterious characters await players. The nostalgic atmosphere of vintage arcade games is embraced, with different endings based on player selection. Olive Town is a tranquil town founded by your grandpa and his friends. You must carry on his legacy by cultivating crops, rearing animals, creating connections, and getting to know the inhabitants as you take over his farm. You may build your farm from the ground up, collecting resources to upgrade infrastructure, upgrading tools and commissioning new costumes and accessories. The farm provides limitless opportunities, from clearing land to manufacturing decorations and amenities. Earth sprites can also be found in unknown areas such as gardens, an island in the sky, or even within a volcano. Thanks everyone for watching. If you liked any one of these games, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Hope to see you on the next one. And stay awesome!